Hello everyone, so my name is Natalie and today we will be discussing 10 interesting facts about California king snakes. Um, these are the 10 facts that I personally find interesting, so if you know anything else that I don't and you would like to comment below, I would really appreciate that. So um, let's get started. Number one, it can grow on an average two and a half to six feet long, meaning it can grow uh, 180 centimeters and there have also been records where it has grown two meters. So it can be um, a quite a thin snake, but it can grow uh, quite long. Number two, in the wild, it has an average lifespan of 40 years, but in captivity, it can go until 10 to 15 years old, and maybe it can go until 20 or more years old, but it can definitely uh, not reach the 40 year lifespan that it has in the wild. Number three, it is a snake whose diet is based on both venomous and non-venomous snake like uh, rattlesnakes and cotton heads and other kinds of um, venomous snakes uh, but its main diet as a constrictor uh, is uh, rodents, lizards, eggs, uh, chicks and uh, frogs um, but uh, this snake, uh, the fact that um, it is, uh, it can kill venomous snakes comes from the fact that he is resistant to their venom, meaning it can, it can get bitten for many times and yet uh, the venom does not uh, kill it. Um, it might cause some damage especially if it uh if it's if the other snake is uh constantly biting on it but uh it cannot easily be killed so while a rattlesnake is attacking it and um biting it the, the kali king snake is already constricting it suffocating it and eating it so they are very interesting eaters. They eat pretty much uh, everything. They don't resist food easily. Though mine, uh, I don't know, for some reason he likes to resist food. Uh, maybe he has another colubrid inside, I don't know. <laughs> but um, they are very easy eaters in general. They eat almost every time you give them. They, even if um they if you give them food um once a week or maybe even less they will definitely eat it they are not uh like uh ball pythons or uh even milk snakes that do not uh eat that easily uh meals number four uh, it is a colubrid which means it lacks a left lung or it has a reduction to it uh, it does not have hind limbs and it does not have teeth in the premaxilla. Um, it has a loose facial structure and a few head scales. Number five, uh, the California king snake, as the name says it, comes from the western United States, California, and uh, it has um, a lot of uh, pattern variations like uh, stripes, uh, vertical lines, uh, dots, um, it mostly is uh, black and white or albino with black dots or anything between uh, lavender, um, white and black. So there are other kinds of king snakes including the Desert king snake, the gray banded uh, king snake, uh, the speckled king snake, the, the Mexican black king snake. There are many, many kinds of king snakes, but this kind of snake comes from California. Uh, the black uh, Mexican king snake uh, comes from uh, northern Mexico. Um, as do the uh, gray banded, I think, and uh, 
the speckled one and um but i'm not sure about that i am sure though that um uh the two i know the most common ones are the black mexican and the california king um i have read some about other kinds of uh, king snakes but not so much um to be able to inform others so i do have to check it out maybe i'll make another video on it but i think i am correct on this so anyway it has uh so many color variations but uh as we all know uh king snakes eat other uh, snakes including their own species so it is very difficult to breed this uh these snakes because they do tend to uh try to eat the other snakes so when they are even when they are mating they will try to eat uh their mate even if they are on their own uh you might find them biting their tails uh thinking that it is another snake so it is very difficult to breed uh, king snakes. You have to be really patient with them. You have to um, uh, have authority over them uh, while they are breeding. Do not let them overnight alone. Uh, you must be really, really careful when you're trying to breed California king snake. It's not like um, garter snakes, corn snakes, uh, even ball pythons. Uh, these snakes do eat uh, most kinds of other snakes, so uh, including their species, so it is very difficult to let them with another snake. Um, I do want to say that um, they are uh, egg layers, they are not live bearers, so you must always uh, take as soon as possible the eggs from the snake because as it also eats uh, eggs it might start eating its own eggs for uh, food so um, if you don't want to risk uh, losing eggs uh, you must take out the eggs before she starts eating them number six these snakes are not usually aggressive compared to other kinds of snakes but they do tend to get stressed so if they get stressed they start to hiss they roll in the ball or they start mimicking the rattlesnake by flicking their tails really fast number seven if you're wondering if a kali king snake can kill you it definitely can't uh even though it is a constrictor uh it cannot uh constrict you enough like a boa on, or a python uh, enough just to kill you. It can definitely bite but it is not uh, the kind of snake that um, will attack you and constrict you in order to kill you. They go for the obvious kill which I have mentioned uh, in one of the previous points that they do go for smaller animals so they do go for the kill that they definitely know they're gonna eat something so they do know you are more strong than them and more um they do know that they definitely can kill you so they will most probably not even bite you yet constrict you number eight uh if you have a cat uh it will definitely uh, kill your pet snake so never have those two together if you're afraid that your snake will eat your cat it definitely won't uh, as i said the kali king snake is too thin and uh, it cannot suffocate bigger prey it will go for the definite kill and the uh, cats are very sleek and fast and uh, uh, definitely their claws can kill a snake Number nine, the more you take out your pet snake and you handle it, the more it feels less threatened by you. 
So please try to take uh, at least uh, once a week your snake out and I bet you it will be more docile and more uh, welcoming towards you. Um, I do want to say that snakes do not have affections, they don't love you or care for you, but they will definitely understand that you're the one feeding them, you're the one giving them water, you're the one um, cleaning them, and you're the one taking them out to stretch, so they will get better uh, as the time goes by, by you handling them. But if you don't um, and you only open up their enclosure just to give them water and just to give them food especially, uh, they start to learn that whenever that enclosure opens, uh, food is coming so they're getting ready to bite. So you must either feed them outside their enclosure or uh, feed them inside but handle them and so you do get the, uh, give them their, the message that um, the enclosure opens if you're giving them water, if you're giving them food or if you're handling them so they don't, uh, they're not always ready to bite whenever you open their enclosure. Finally number 10, so this is um, this is a fact that I chose to be quite general. It's not just about Kali King snakes, it's for all snakes for that matter. But um, I think many people don't know uh, that snakes do actually uh, hear. And in Cyprus, where I live, we do have this saying of this word actually. Um, snake is kufi. Kufi means deaf, which means they can't listen, or a snake. So uh, we do tend to think that snakes don't actually listen. But our voice's frequency is between, on average, in the middle from uh, the, the frequencies the snake can listen to. So our snake can definitely hear us and can definitely hear any other things it's not just vibration and it's not just um, the smell or other features it can see it can uh, smell it can uh, use the frequencies from underneath its body but it can also listen to the human uh, voice so these are the 10 facts from me i hope you enjoyed them as much as i did and I do really want to hear from you um, if you have anything else you would like to tell me. I would really appreciate that. I do want to see some pictures of you and your pet snakes. I would really love to see them. I, I'm not just going to talk about uh, California king snakes, but since I do own one, I would like to talk more about them because I did my research on it and I know more about California king snake than most other snakes. Um, we will be discussing other snakes too. I do love most of the snakes, venomous and non-venomous, um, but California king snakes for me are uh, one of the best uh, pet snake you can get and that's why I got him. Um, I will be showing him to you. Um, he is quite heavy and uh, I don't want to stress him for long. I don't even know if he's going to fit in the camera. I'll try my best. Um, so let me go and take him. See you in a bit. I am actually holding him right now. He's uh, really fresh because he just ate. This is him, you guys. I know I tricked you. Um... He is an amazing pet snake. I love him. Uh, today he wasn't really easy to, to get. I mean, he's a child, so what is easy is uh, depends on the person. But I did find him that because I haven't handled him in two days because he was eating and he needs 48 hours to uh, digest. 
um, he was a bit faster and a bit more uh, avoiding me which is not the case most of the times. Most of the times he just sits there, I grab him, that's the case. Um, so this is him. He does have a lot of patterns. Uh, as you can see, he has um, the horizontal lines, then the S, and then as it goes down, he starts to have uh, lines. Let me just... Make the camera. He is quite amazing. I do love him. I find him very docile, very easy to handle and stuff like that. I do hope you guys have the chance to meet a California king snake. I love uh, the fact that uh, the col most colubrids don't have uh, scales on their body, and so he is so he has such a nice texture you cannot imagine, and um, he is uh, very handsome. Most snakes do not have. Um, most snakes do not have I'm just gonna show him to you so this is him he look at his patterns they are really amazing he is an amazing pet snake and I truly truly adore this guy you can see his color variations you can see his tail um, I bet you there are not uh, many such snakes with such patterns and all at once. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!